Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. I uh, thought I'd just come down here and I was actually going to do this little video. Um, you know, if uh, your interest is, you know, is buying a piece of property and homesteading or farming or doing, you know, whatever it is you want. Um, you know, I'm going to show you some of the, the daily chores you know, that we have to do in the winter and just kind of go through, you know, so I'm just going to take you around, cut in and show you a few of the things that you do every morning just to get your um, day going. And one of the things I'm down here, something I do, especially after every fresh snow in the morning is uh, I'll just take a gander around the property, come down into the creek bottom you know and do kind of a big sweep around and actually I go around looking for tracks um, you know just to see what kind, of, what kind of critters have been you know coming around and stuff and you know other than so far this morning I should have showed it probably I didn't really grab the camera until I got up back down on this end and thought well I could do this um, but rabbits you know of course I got the rabbit tracks and stuff like that but I this morning, or, you know, since the snow, but it's still snowing, so I mean, you know, it would have had to have been within the last couple of hours coming through, but usually, you know, we'll have, uh, you know, some cat tracks, lots of, you know, raccoon and uh, um, foxes and coyotes and stuff like that, but it's always a good idea to go around, check your perimeter and stuff, you know, and just kind of see what's going on when you ain't looking. Then, of course, what we all love to do, you know, is the uh, you know, snow shoveling, man the paths. So we always love that. This here um, is actually, uh, it was yesterday's video, but a couple of videos ago, I was talking about uh, pulling out wood out of that, you know, that undesirable wood that um, was dumped off here. Um, you know, wanting to clean it out and stuff. What I decided to do is, you know, I've got the lodge poles that I sawed up, and we got a pretty good supply and could probably make it, you know, depending. Man, you just never know up here when, uh, I mean, you know, man, it could stay cold. We could have fires burn until June. You never know. And uh, sort of stretch the better wood and the good dry burning wood, I decided to... Um, you know, saw up some of this. It leaves a lot of ash. I'm going to have to clean my chimney a couple extra times because it builds up in there too. But, um, you know, sitting out there, I'd already kind of organized it. It is under the snow. We'll go take a gander at it so you can check it out. First, we'll throw this dang ball for that dog. You'd think he'd get lost. He's lost everything else in the snow. Of course, when I was walking by, I thought I would show this. There's my anvil which I should have had it covered too. This is why I cover up my forge and everything. And I'll tell you what, a forge, I've talked about it before because you've broke down the um, carbon and everything. Your, uh, your forge table and stuff will uh, rust out about twice as fast as it would if, you know, because of the heat and everything, you broke down the elements and made it a lot easier and stuff for rust. You always want to keep it closed or covered um, of course, the plan with this whole area is to have walls and all that. And I want to have it so that I can open up the, the door and everything. Just not quite there. And what I'll come do is here in a minute is I'll come out because I need to get this off my anvil because it'll rust out my anvil too. But what I'll uh, do is bring my air tank over and I'll blow this off and blowing it when it's still, you know, dry snow, if you know what that is. <laughs> Um, so I'll come blow it off just to keep it off there. But as I was walking by, I thought I might show that because I actually have some knives um, that I need to pound out later today, this afternoon. So I'll be coming out here and contending with this in a little bit. And of course, just the trudging through the snow. This ain't too bad. We probably got... Let's see. Yeah, probably six inches. So this is the pile I was talking about that was dumped on here. Um, uh, we dumped it here. We don't have much to do with them anymore. So, um, um, 
It's been here for two years and I want this area cleared out. So instead of just burning it and letting it go up in smoke, this is the stuff that I'm going to uh, pull out and saw some of it up and use it. And, and yesterday, and yet, you know, yesterday it did have no snow on it whatsoever. So, uh, you can see, I mean, there's some, there's some maple in here. It looks like maybe birch and there's some apple and, but man, very ashy, nasty, stinking, pretty much worthless wood, but it does put out good heat, man. I'll give it that, but it, uh, creates a lot of creosote and a lot, man, most ash I've ever, ever seen. So, but so what I've been doing is using that, um, Oh, using the uh, the uh, snow, you can see the path here, the snow uh, scoop as a sled, basically, and just kind of um, sledding it over the, you know, over to there, and then cutting up them links where I'd showed just a few minutes ago. And what I'm doing is I'm taking that inside in the crib and putting it on the far end, you know, and burning the good stuff, and then I'll throw a couple of pieces of that in. Just to keep it, you know, keep it going and burn it. And, um, probably have to clean my chimney every other day or every third day. So, that's what we're doing with that. As you can see, man, how much of that mountain, you can't even see the, it just bums me out. My mountain is right there and this camera just does not bring it in. So, all right, let's see what else we got going on. Almost walked by it, and somebody there's some people asking me if I still had the beast and uh, the beast, and yes, I do. Um, she ain't going nowhere. Uh, she's got a lot of issues, and but she's man, it's a work. She's a working fool, man. She's just a dog. But I, uh, and I've talked about the other things. I pulled the bumper and stuff off. I was gonna sell the winch just because. I don't use it all that much and uh, you know, I can use the money more than I can use the winch. And so I pulled it off and then for Tim's birthday, my son-in-law, for his birthday, um, I decided I was gonna give him the bumper because his bumper pushing stuff around here, his bumper fell off of his dang truck. Man, and uh, I can't believe, I think I might've showed that too, man. Chintzius, I couldn't believe it, man. Ford Tough, that wasn't very dang Ford Tough. So, uh, so anyway, so I decided I was going to give him, because next month's his birthday, so I was going to give him the bumper, and then, uh, I kind of, you know, you out of, out, of, out, of, out of sight, out of mind, I have it over there under a tarp, and, oh, just, uh, it's been a week now, but a couple days, um, you know, or, I thought to myself, man, I got to put that um, winch on, you know, and the winches are bringing, you know, about 900 bucks on eBay. So it's the older one, you know, 9,000 pound worn winch. And uh, the kids, Tim's, was asking me about uh, if I'd sell it. You know, and he's all, you know, and I was like, what, you know, what, what do you give me for it? And he says, well, if you'd just uh, put in half of the bumper for my birthday, I said, well, I plan on giving you the whole bumper for your birthday. <laughs> so, anyway, we worked out a deal. It ain't no 900 bucks, you know, the father son deal. But give me a few bucks, a little jingle in my jangle, and puts the winch on his truck. And that way we still have use to it. I'm actually want one of the, uh, well, they have these ones. I used to carry one in the tow truck. You know, of course, you got the big winches on the tow truck, but then I mean, it's just a Harbor Freight one, but it's one of them little ones, and it's like a box, and you hook it to your battery, and you can, and it's got a spot, you just slide it over a ball or over something, you know, and you can pull this way, or you can put it in the back and side and all that, and I actually, um, they're about 100 bucks or 150 bucks, I'm going to get me one of those, that way I can carry it in this and in the van, and then my son-in-law's got my big winch on the front of, or will have my big winch on the front of his truck if it... If I really get needing it, but so I just thought I'd go over that. But and oh, the beast will be on the road um, this year. All she needs is a new battery, you know. And I got some brake work and stuff like that to do to it, but um, mainly just a battery till I can use a battery and get it registered, you know, which they upped our fees on all that. And so, but still nothing compared to what it costs you down in California. 
And of course we got the green bean. I love my green bean. <laughs> but it, uh, she uh, has an ignition starter problem. So she too. But uh, if you watch any of my videos, as you know, I love the green bean and she will be going and all that. I got so much, we got so much, so many things to fix come springtime and I got that the four-wheeler the tote goat um, my brother gave me a another little motorcycle and man I got I need a I need me a small engine mechanic man <laughs> something to help me out so there my friends that's just a couple of the things you know you get up up here in Idaho or in the Pacific Northwest um, you want to live this life you know in the in the four seasons and this close to the elements the first thing you start off in the morning when it snows is shoveling so you can get out to do other chores you know and that ain't including feeding the animals and all that stuff but uh, you know that is getting up first thing shoveling well, first things, light the fire and start the coffee. And then you sit down with the fire and the coffee and have a couple cups of coffee. Then you come out, do some shoveling, get going, get your britches on, and then get on out there and start uh, shoveling the rest, get you a path out to your wood and all that, and do your little, you know, daily things. You know, me and Kitty, like I said, we look for tracks all the time um depending on the weather me and kitty take our walks i've talked about our walks around our property you know we got our circle that we can make for a mile and we usually try to do that except for when it's like this and then she's not feeling good so hasn't been doing that for the last couple of days but we always enjoy that man with all the birds and the, everything going on anyway man there's a beginning of the day on a you know, pacific northwest homestead We'll see you again real soon. Good Lord willing and the cricks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow.